Oh, he's folly. One wintry day, as Ollie the obedient ostrich was on his way to Harriet's heavenly hamburger hut, he met Ivy the impatient iguana and Nellie the naughty newt in front of the bookstore. Just as Ollie was about to say hello, Nellie whispered something in Ivy's ear and they both laughed. What's the joke? Ollie asked. Nothing, Nellie said, and she started to giggle. You look really funny wearing those big boots and carrying your umbrella, said Ivy. But the weather reporter said it was going to storm today. And to take our umbrellas, Ollie explained. Well, it's not storming, and you look silly, Nellie said. Ollie looked down at his clothes. Maybe I do look silly, he thought. Ollie felt embarrassed, but he continued walking down the street. When he came to the corner, the traffic light was red, so he stopped. What are you waiting for, silly? Ivy called. You're supposed to cross only at the green light, Ollie said. There may be there may, there may be some cars coming, and you could get hit. But Ivy and Nellie started to cross the street anyway. Why waste time standing at the corner when there aren't any cars coming, Ivy said. She laughed and skipped across the street with Nellie. When Ollie arrived at Harriet's heavenly ham. When, or, when Ollie arrived at Harriet's hamburger hut, he saw Justin the joking jackal having lunch with Gertie the grungy goat. Ollie waved to them and then stood in line waiting for his turn to order. When he got his hamburger, onion rings and orange soda, Ollie carried his tray to Justin's table. Hi everybody, Ollie said. May I sit with you? Sure, Ollie, Justin said, blowing bubbles in his soda. You can sit next to me, Gertie said. Don't mind the mess. Ollie sat down, placed the napkin in his lap and started eating his lunch. When they were finished eating, Gertie and Justin got up to leave. Hey, what about your trash? Ollie said. The sign says we should clear the table. I never pay attention to signs, Gertie said. I came here to eat, not clean. But, but, Ollie, Ollie said. Oh, Ollie, don't be such a goody two shoes, teased Gertie. You mean goody snow boots, don't you? Justin shouted and started to laugh. Ollie felt his face turn hot and his heart started to pound. He cleared the table and then he hurried home. Ollie was really upset by the time he got to his house. He ran into his room, threw himself on his bed and wept. I always try to do the right things, but it's no use, he cried. Everybody makes fun of me. Ollie got up and punched his pillow. Maybe they're right, he shouted. I'm tired of following rules and doing what I'm told. Things are going to be different from now on. No more Mr. Obedient. I'm not doing what I should do ever, ever again. That evening, Ollie decided not to have vegetables for supper. Instead, he ate three bags of potato chips and two boxes of chocolate cookies. He did not brush his teeth before he went to bed. He did not, he did not hang up his clothes. He did not go to sleep at the usual time. He stayed up and watched TV. The next morning, Ollie was awakened by the ringing of the telephone. It was Wendy the Wise Woodchuck. Good morning, Ollie, she said. It's ten o'clock. I've been waiting for you for a long time. We're supposed to go skating this morning. Did you forget? I guess I overslept, Ollie said, rubbing his eyes. I went to sleep late last night. That's not like you, Wendy said. Is there something wrong? No, I'm fine, Ollie said. Go ahead without me. I'll meet you at the skating pond. Ollie hung up the phone and got out of bed, but he wasn't fine. He was tired from staying up so late. His tummy hurt from all the junk food he had eaten the night before, and his mouth felt funny from not brushing his teeth before going to bed. Ollie looked for his shoes and belt, but he couldn't find them. It took him forever to get dressed. Oh dear, Ollie thought to himself. I wish I had had more sleep, brushed my teeth, and prepared my clothes for today. It's no fun feeling like this. Ollie went to the kitchen to make himself some breakfast. He prepared slices of oranges, a bowl of oatmeal and a cheese and tomato omelette. He set the table neatly and sat down, but as just as he was about to start eating, he remembered, No more Mr. Obedient! Ollie jumped up and threw his napkin down. No breakfast for me today, he shouted. Ollie grabbed his skates and ran out of the house and slammed the door behind him. 
When Ollie arrived at the skating pond, many of the Alpha Pets were already there. Ivy and Nellie were having a race. Justin was skating backwards and Gertie was twirling with Wendy. Wendy waved to Ollie. Hey Ollie, hurry, she called. We've been waiting for you. Ollie laced the skates and skated on t- out onto the pond. There was a sign on one side of the ice that said, Danger Finn, ice, keep off. Ollie was about to circle around to the other side of the pond, but then he saw the alphabets watching him. I'm sure everybody expects me to obey that sign and go around the long way, Ollie said to himself. I'll show them all how fast I can get there. I'll skate right past that silly old sign. No more Mr. Obedient for me. Ollie took a deep breath and skated right past the sign. Then suddenly, crack! The ice started to break and water came seeping up through the cracks. Ollie tried to skate away, but wherever he went there... But where? But wherever he went, there. But wherever he went, there were more and more cracks. Poor Ollie. He slipped and almost fell through the ice. Help! Help! He cried. We're coming! Shouted the Alpha Pets. Bradley the Brave Bear rushed over and threw Ollie an oar. Then all the Alpha Pets helped him pull to safety. Then all the Alpha Pets helped pull him to safety. The Alpha Pets helped Ollie to a bench and wrapped a blanket around his shoulders. Ollie shivered, so everyone gathered closely around him to keep him warm. To keep him warm. Oh, Ollie, whatever made you ignore that sign, Wendy asked. I didn't want you to make fun of me, Ollie whispered. Then Ivy said, We feel terrible, Ollie. We're wrong to make fun of you for, fo- of you for following rules. And we're sorry. Wendy gave Ollie a big hug and said, It's not always fun to obey the rules, but now we all know that it can be a lot less fun not to pay attention to them. Yes, agreed Ollie, as he patted his empty tummy. And I also know that I'm starving. I shouldn't have skipped breakfast. Bradley looked at his watch. It's almost noon. I guess we're all getting hungry. Let's go have a bite to eat. Yippee! shouted the Alpha Pets. They changed into their shoes and then walked back to town. And when they came to the corner, no one crossed until the light turned green. The end.